racers, this is Chris G from RedCatRacing.com. I'm going to go over the settings for the VX16 carburetor needles. Each nitro and gas carburetor has its own specific carb settings. And if you're unfamiliar with these locations of these adjusters on the VX16, watch closely and feel free to watch our carb adjustment location video for the VX16. Each needle needs to be adjusted to a certain amount of turns out from closed. As of right now, these are both all the way in. What that means is after closing the low and high speed needles until they stop, each needs to be rotated 360 degree full turns back out for each turn count and 180 degrees for say half a turn, okay? Now, the high speed needle in the brass fitting needs to be rotated three and a half turns out from where it stops. In this case, one, two, three and a half. And the low speed needle located in inside the throttle connection needs to be three and one quarter turns out. It, it helps to adjust the low speed if you hold the throttle connection still. That way it doesn't move on you. So let's get this seated. So one, two, three, and one quarter. Once these are adjusted, we can begin to adjust the idle screw. Now the idle screw does not have a specific turn count. Um, it's a basically visually checked, and as you can see, I have the air filter removed here. So the idle screw is gonna be located right underneath the air filter housing, which will normally be on as such. And if you remove it, you can look down inside here, and you can actually see that there's a bit of a gap in there in that little uh, cylinder there. So with this, throttle connection in the idle position you're going to want to adjust the screw that so this gap inside here is about the size of a credit card or one millimeter so we're going to start adjusting if you need to know which way it goes just feel free to take a look in there hold the throttle lever and see which direction in this case and in most carburetors it's going to be the the opposite as far as tightening. So this is counterclockwise to, to close the gap. We're gonna close this all the way up in until we have a visual approximately one millimeter. Now, that's about the thickness of the screwdriver that you can find in the, elect the nitro starter kit and uh, or any you know small tips flathead screwdriver. And as you can see, the gap here has been adjusted just, just so, so where it's it's pretty much about out of one millimeter or the size of a credit card. All these can be adjusted by this basic flathead screwdriver, which comes in our nitro starter kit. And these adjustments will need to be um, adjusted during the break-in process and over time as needed. Any questions, feel free to ask. And if you'd like to see any other how-to videos, please let us know what you'd like to see. And thanks for racing Red Cat.